Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Nature Sea Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Bordelli. I'm also the CEO and co-founder of the company, having started Nature Sea over 20 years ago with my wife, Beth. And since then, it's been our privilege to have served over 500,000 Americans by offering them the best supplements we can make. You may have seen the news articles about a new study on multivitamins that concluded they don't help you live longer. A few people have asked if I saw this, including a cousin who was very into supplements. So I wanted to do an episode and discuss it on the podcast as I have a lot of thoughts about it. Starting with, in my view, they're asking and trying to answer the wrong question about multivitamins and one that's near impossible to prove one way or the other, especially based on how they did this study. Why is this the wrong question? Well, think about our bodies. We're the most complex organisms and sophisticated machines the world has ever seen. Picture all the different systems and organs at work inside your body right now, allowing you to function and live. You know, it's pretty overwhelming and amazing when you think about it, right? You have your heart pumping blood through every corner of your body. You're breathing oxygen constantly. Your brain is telling you what you think and what you see. Inside your gut is a constant battle between trying to get a good balance of good bacteria versus bad bacteria. You have your antioxidant defense system trying to fight off free radicals. You have your musculoskeletal system, your bones and joints, helping you move and get around. There's a lot going on. Given all of this complexity, does it make any sense that simply supplementing with a dozen or so vitamin compounds will extend the lifespan of our bodies? Of course not. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of nutritional compounds our bodies need to function so we can enjoy and live life. And beyond nutrition, there's a long list of things that will affect how long we live. Off the top of our heads, we could each probably come up with 20 or more factors that affect the human lifespan. That's a big reason why I think the question that this study was set up to address was kind of ridiculous and flawed. Not calling the researchers ridiculous, I just think what they were trying to do was kind of misguided, and not to mention how they went about it. So why do we take multivitamins or other supplements with the vitamins typically found in multivitamins? It's because we know that these are important nutrients that our bodies need to function normally. And yet, about 90% of Americans fail to get the recommended amounts of these vitamins each day. And that's true even if you're, having, you're eating a relatively good and healthy diet. Try it yourself. You can keep a food diary for a week, put those numbers into an app, and you'll see what your vitamin intake is. It's not easy to hit the RDAs for each vitamin. And that's why taking a, multi, you know, a multivitamin supplement or a vitamin supplement to bridge nutritional gaps is a good thing to do. In case you don't know, the RDAs are set by the Institute of Medicine, which is part of the National Academy of Sciences, a non-government organization, and then the FDA typically takes these recommendations and makes them part of the requirements for food labels, in our case, supplement labels. The purpose of the RDAs is to give you a guideline of the daily nutritional requirements for healthy individuals. The Institute of Medicine doesn't say hey, if you meet all of our RDAs, you will live longer. So why would we expect that taking a multivitamin alone will result in us living longer? Again, the premise of the study makes no sense to me, and the resulting headlines make people think vitamin supplements aren't helpful, which we all know isn't the case. There's plenty of research indicating multivitamin supplements provide value and help support different functions in the body. In fact, just a couple of days ago, a study found taking multivitamins can help support cognitive function, as prior studies have also indicated. Other studies show that taking a multivitamin may support certain aspects of heart and cardiovascular health too, and these vitamins may also help you support immune system function. You take a multivitamin to live better, not just live longer. Even the researchers in this new study that concluded multivitamins don't help you live longer said this, and I quote, We cannot preclude the possibility that daily multivitamin use may be associated with other health outcomes related to aging, such as the ones we just discussed. Quality of life is important. You know, we want all of our years to be good years, and we want our last years to be good years, too. We just don't want to be hanging around and stick around. We want to enjoy life, and that's part of the case for taking a multivitamin. It helps us satisfy basic nutritional needs. Now, turning attention to the study itself, there's a few things you should know about the study and how it was done. As I mentioned at the beginning, not only were the researchers asking the wrong questions about multivitamins for reasons we just discussed, 
The question is one that was near impossible to prove one way or the other, especially based on how they did the study. The researchers cited the size and duration of the study you know, as strengths of their work, you know, I'd argue just the opposite. It was actually a weakness from which I will explain. First, you should know this was an observational study. It looked back at data collected over 20 years that was tracked for other purposes and applied it to the study. It wasn't a blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled study, which is considered the gold standard where researchers recruit a group of individuals who meet a specific parameters or criteria for the study, and then they'll exclude those who may skew data based on their health situation or other reasons, and you end up with a well-defined sample for the study. These individuals typically are then randomized into two groups, the test group and the placebo group. Then each group will take the product they're given for three months, six months, one year, or however long the study lasts. And frequently, the researchers will also give the participants other instructions of things to avoid. For example, don't take these other supplements or engage in some other type of behavior, which may affect the outcome of the study. Now, the longer the study, of course, the harder it is to keep this group together and get them to comply. It could never be done over a 20-year period, and it certainly wasn't what the study, this multivitamin study, did. Instead, they used data from surveys mailed out by the National Institution of Health and some others starting back in the 1990s. Each year, the NIH mails out its survey, asking a bunch of health and diet questions, and recipients would mail them back. So there's no examinations, blood work, or even interviews done, just the survey responses. The researchers in the multivitamin study used responses from about 390,000 of these folks who mailed in their surveys over 20 years or so. So it's very different from the controlled study environment you see in randomized placebo-controlled studies. And that makes it really hard to draw any firm conclusions, especially on something like death and mortality rates. As mentioned, there are so many factors that determine lifespan. It's hard to isolate one factor, like in this case, multivitamin use. You have a multitude of diet and lifestyle factors. You have family history, economic status, where you live, environmental factors, and things like just simply your access to good health care. And the researchers say, yes, we try to adjust for some of these factors. Like the researchers indicate that multivitamin users were also more likely to eat better, exercise more regularly, smoke less, and generally pursue healthier lifestyles. Well, isn't that the real goal? Didn't these folks live longer? Maybe the study headline should have at least been, multivitamins alone don't increase lifespan. That would have made more sense instead of discouraging people from filling in nutritional gaps. And think of the other challenges of collecting data from 390,000 users via 20 years of surveys. For example, what multivitamin products were they using? We know there are quality difference among different vitamin brands, as well as the form of vitamins and the source of vitamins used, dosage amounts. You know, just think over the last 20 years, how much our knowledge and expertise in vitamins in terms of bioavailability, and other ways to improve the efficacy of these vitamins has improved. Were they all really taking the same products for 20 years each day? Probably not. And how is that reflected really in the study results? And more generally, think about how your own personal behavior has changed over 20 years. How do you account for that among 390,000 participants? You really can't. It's, and that makes it an impossible study in question for which to get a reliable answer. Despite the researchers' best attempts to make adjustments, and they made many adjustments, at some point you're making so many of these adjustments that you have to ask yourself, well, maybe we're just working with the wrong data set. One question I would have for these researchers is, well, what do you suggest we do? We know about 90% of the population struggles to meet vitamin RDAs, even the good eaters. Do we just ignore the facts and not try to bridge this gap? So I would not let this study discourage you from taking vitamin supplements and always look, of course, for quality brands. Next week, I'm going to follow up by discussing what we do in our true multi-multivitamin supplement that's a little unique and also what I do to customize vitamin intake to meet my personal needs. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future episodes or listen to us on your favorite podcast and streaming service. We're on Apple Podcast as well as Spotify. This is Carl Pardelli and I'll see you next week.